Right, hi everybody. Uh, I'm not here. This is what I hope is the first of five videos over five days just for you because I'm not here and just so I'm posting something. That's the ice cream man outside. I do apologise about that. Um, right, so I'm not here. Today is the day I'll probably driving down the M6 or stuck in a traffic jam. This is very old. This is a page of doodles or well, maybe about 18 months old that I did from looking at this book. This was a fabulous exhibition I went to at the Victorian Albert Museum a few years ago. And there's some pages in here that I particularly adore. They've got page markers on, but I'm not so sure. So for example, this, these massive buttons on this cardigan and the torn weave. So that is what's going on here, I think. It's so long ago since I did it. I can't be certain. Um, so look, fantastic exhibition and an even more amazing book. I don't think I drew any of that. I think I've just got that highlighted because I think it's so wonderful. And then this, look at this. This, all this dramatic fabric manipulation. That's what's going on here. And then here we've got belts and ties that are from very different places within this book because there are a lot of belts and ties and things going on in this book. Um, there's a page here that I really love, if I can find it quickly, this one, because I love the shoes. Look at the shoes. How comfortable would that be? But how stylish is that? Um, so that's what's going on there. So what I thought I'd do today because I don't want these videos to be massively long. I thought I'd maybe do a bit more doodling from this, not from the book, but from this. And I haven't thought about this at all, apart from thinking about doing it. I haven't looked at that to decide how I might doodle. So this is my acrylic pad. Um, I love the surface of this. I use this a lot. And these are just fine liner pens. They're not cold. They're not um, waterproof or archival. They're just very easy to doodle with. So if I look, at what's going on here and just take try and mix a couple of things that I like I mean I like it all but I do like this long thing coming down here so if I kind of try and replicate that I'll do it straight with pen and hope I don't make any mistakes so make that a bit longer like that and then and remember this is coming from that really dramatic sleeve like that and then there's a fatter bit comes out of the top I mean artistic license allows me to do anything I want so that's probably massively different to that but now what I like about this is the stripes I've got going on and the cross hatching so what I think I'll do because here that's like a cup part of a sleeve so perhaps I'll just do the cut bit across the top without that area there. So let me just see. <coughs> so if I start there, I think I'm being very brave, you know, I'm not doing this in pencil first. And then again, artistic license, allow it to go to there maybe. And then have that bit coming down inside to there. So what's happening there is this is a wide bit. So if I colour that in a little bit. Now I'm thinking I could get really carried away with this. So maybe if I do one today about this and the next one I do tomorrow, I could continue with this because I'd like to do more than just one motif to be honest. So. And then if I do some cross hatching in here, very fine cross hatching in here. And then I can photograph this at varied stages, can't I? So that you've then got a photograph to look at too. There. Now here, it's striped on the other one. Um, I'm resisting circles because they're too predictable. 
I don't know. Maybe see I like this here. See how these just like threads wrapping around something there. Maybe I could just have some wisps coming off like that from there. Um kind of make them look as if they're coming out of holes or something. Don't know, goodness knows what this is going to look like it is when it's finished. I like that. I do like that. And I'll have some more cross hatching here. such a simple thing isn't it cross hatching but it's also very very effective there. but actually to me it looks like somebody turning their head like a little face like a medieval woman with one of those net things on her head and she's just turning her head there so this one I'm gonna do something like this like this stripe but I'm going to do it in a different way so what I'm going to do is I'll have as if it's coming from behind like that as if it's wrapping itself round like that okay like, it really does look to me like a medieval female with her head turned to one side so if I do that like that and then do it again here That doesn't normally if I do something and say like I'll do something with red and green and I'll say it reminds me of Christmas then I won't work on it anymore it'll put me off and I'll put it away and stop working on it but this time that doesn't offend me in that way doesn't put me off in that way so I'm gonna not gonna get it does doesn't it, it looks like a medieval lady with a headdress on with a head to one side totally accidental but then who knows what she'll look like by the time I've finished adding the pen I do like this now what I'm going to do now I'm going to leave it at that and take a photograph because it's about six minutes long this video already eight is it eight i think it's eight um so and i'll to be continued part two tomorrow when i'll be shopping and spending too much money in london there so far yeah i'm really really happy with that so i'm going to turn off take pictures of this and then your next video tomorrow will be this continued how's about that then